Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. Today, I decided to buy some banned products. These products can no longer be sold because they hurt people. But I scoured the internet and found them. Also, if you notice my body's peeling, I'm not gonna tell you why that is, but I just want you guys to know that I'm aware that it's peeling and I'm not ready to open up about why. Just kidding, it's just because I went to Australia and didn't wear sunscreen. But thanks for your concern. No one even asked. They were worried for me. My fans were worried. The first banned product we have is Bucky Balls. We've all seen these at some point in our lives. Those little magnet things, they make little cool formations. It's so satisfying. I guess these were banned in 2012 because people were swallowing them. They got their digestive systems all effed up because like they're magnets and like it would magnet like part of their intestines or something. People really got hurt and it's actually really sad, but um, we're gonna play with them because they're back. The creators of the Bucky Balls, they weren't ready to be banned. So they came back and they're really explicitly saying we are not a children's toy. It's for adults. Here are the buckyballs. Oh my gosh. For some reason, I am scared that I'm gonna swallow them. You know what I mean? Like, you know when you're on a balcony and you're like, what if I jumped off? Like, you know you're not gonna jump off, but you're just scared. Like, what if, like, what if I do just swallow them? That would suck, you know? Buckyballs. Buckyballs. It feels satisfying to say it. Try saying it. Buckyballs. Doesn't it feel good? Yeah. Warning, keep away from all children. Do not put in your nose or mouth. Oh crap, you could also put them in your nose. Unlimited fun for grownups. I guess educators also use these to teach physics. Um, oh, these have, these have some weight. How do you open this? This honestly should be banned from the packaging alone. Like when I open these, they're gonna splatter everywhere. In like a couple of days, I'm gonna see it on the floor, think it's a fruity pebble and eat it. And I'll be dead. <gasps> Oh, this is cool. I was watching a video of someone making all these satisfying shapes with these, so I'm gonna try it. Cue the satisfying music. Oh. <gasps> Mush, I'm choking. Just kidding. Do you wanna try them, Jacob? <laughs> what did I make? Comment below what you think he tried to make. It kinda looks like Florida. I love these. <laughs> Band product number two, Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kid. Feed me. Watch out, she'll chew off your finger, girl. Yeah, that's why this got banned. In 1997, this was taken off the shelves because a little Cabbage Patch girl, she didn't know just to eat food, she was eating people's body parts, ripping out hair. Also, side note, why are Cabbage Patch kids made? Because every Cabbage Patch kid is ugly. We can all admit that. Honestly, look at them, like butt ugly. Maybe that is a good thing for kids to play with though so they feel better about themselves. It's always good to surround yourself with ugly people. While the doll didn't actually eat the hair, and fingers, they would get stuck, and many times the results were painful. In at least one case, the doll pulled a child's hair out from the root. That is funny. So this doll has scalped people. Can you imagine if you bought your kid expensive 12 inch extensions and their effing doll ruined them? I would petition to have the doll banned as well. I would have done the same thing. I got this off eBay and I'm lucky because right after I bought it off eBay, a couple days later it shipped and then eBay found out it was a banned item and they emailed me saying, we take product safety very seriously. We're reaching out to you because an item you purchased may have been recalled or pose a safety hazard. We recommend that you stop using this product. Nope. Sorry, eBay. You can't boss me around. I'm gonna use this product right now. And I don't care if I get bit or scalped. Oh, you get comfortable? All right, we'll continue the video. It is kind of scary opening it because I just picture this like board where it's like 45 minutes from now and we're both like getting low eaten by the <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my God, that would make this video so much better. If I like, drive into the hospital, I'm one of our arms, isn't it? <laughs> I feel like if you had a Cabbage Patch kid when you were younger, you grow up and become like a librarian or something, which that's all good. But if you had a brat stall as a kid, I feel like you grow up and become a lip injections nurse, which is more valuable to society than a librarian. Girl is thinning. Poor girl. You're gonna have to get a hair transplant. Get the girl game out. How happy she is. Like the fact that there were kids in the 90s who were like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. And then, 
up, finger gone, hairs ripped out of the root. That's horrible. These are cool, little jelly shoes. This is all the little food for the Cabbage Patch doll. You got a Twizzler, some gum, a banana. She can eat a bunch of stuff. So she eats the food and then it appears in her backpack. Cause see this little weird back thing. Oh, her name's Berta Louise. An adoption certificate. This is actually very sad. Um, tried to put batteries in Berta. I've tried it multiple ways. We tried different batteries. And the snack time kid isn't snacking. The mouth isn't chewing anything. The food isn't coming out of the backpack. Like I am pissed, what? Is it a thing where since this has been sitting in a box for over two decades that now it just doesn't work? I would get mad at the eBay seller, but their account has been deleted because they were selling banned products. There's no one for me to complain to. Oh my God. All I wanted was to get scalped by a doll. <sighs> this was a flop, mm. complete and utter flop, flop. I'm gonna say it one more time, flop. Band product number three, heated electric blankets. Just last year, American Airlines banned heated blankets on their flights. They were scared they were gonna start on fire or something. I don't know if they ever actually did start on fire in the middle of a flight. Yeah, they're banned from American Airlines. You can actually bring them on a plane. You just can't plug them in. I honestly just can't believe people were bringing heated blankets on a plane and plugging it in anyway. Like people, there's people out there who did that. Like that to me is surprising. Also a brand of electric blankets that was sold at TJ Maxx and Urban Outfitters got banned because it was heating up so good that it burned people. It literally just burned people's skin. <laughs> wow, that is not something to laugh about. At the end of the day, that product was doing good because it like, it heated people up so much that it literally burned them. Whoever designed that product, like they did pretty good. I bet you right before they actually got a serious burn, they probably were like, this feels so good, this electric blanket. Also, I read online that really old electric blankets just start on fire sometimes. So I went on eBay and found the oldest electric blanket I could find. <laughs> Why are you testing this out? <laughs> The eBay thing just said vintage, it didn't give it an exact year. Field Crest Coordinated Fashions. And also I do want to point out, I'm not coming for this brand. This brand isn't known for starting things on fire. I just wanted to find a generic old blanket. So like this brand isn't known for like starting people's bodies on fire. Oh, I'm... Okay, when did electric outlets ever look like this? This is vintage. This is so cool, like Aubrey Hepburn type stuff. It's probably used it, right? No, probably. <laughs> Ew, it smells so old. Oh, it actually does. It's like an antique star. Ew. Turn that thing up. <laughs> I'm gonna get electrocuted. I mean, it's not even that warm, to be honest. It's not hot enough to burn me, so that sucks. I didn't get burned. Another flop. Mm. Band product number four. Flying boat kite tube. This came out in 2006. People go tubing on lakes and stuff. You guys all know that, water skiing, the whole thing. I guess people were kind of getting bored of just a regular tube, so they said, what if the tube could fly and became a kite that people were on and it would just be so much fun for the whole family. People did have fun with this product, but then it got banned the same year it came out. Soon reports were coming in of riders losing consciousness, breaking vertebrae, ruptured eardrums, and punctured lungs as a result of taking a ride and crashing back down into the water. So I bought one and we're gonna test it out. <laughs> Just kidding, I didn't buy this one. That is really unsafe. Did you ever ride a kite tube? Let me know how it went in the comments below. Cause I'm assuming there were people who rode them and were fine. Not everyone got hurt. Band product number five, lawn darts. These came out in like the 70s or something, and it was basically just a thing you throw in the lawn. The end of it was like a knife. It would go into the grass. It didn't end well for some people because like they would get cut with them and stuff. They got banned in 1988. Somebody actually was selling these on Amazon, so I bought them. Sadly, um, I did get scammed, and it's just a poster from one of the original lawn darts. Yeah, I got scammed. I mean, maybe if I would have read the product description more in depth, it would have said that it actually wasn't lawn darts, but luckily if you still wanna play with lawn darts, but you don't wanna get stabbed, they did make a safer version. These are lawn darts, but instead of a knife, it's just a weight. So you could get whacked in the head and get a concussion probably, but at least you won't draw blood. Oh, this is kind of fun. Yes, yeah, so I think you basically just have like... What? What is this? Time for a big competition. Who can make it more into the bullseye? Me or Jacob? Am I gonna damage my floors? Probably. You won. 
Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for coming. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm still so pissed that the cabbage patch didn't rip my finger off, and I know you guys are still mad about it too, and I apologize. See you next time. Bye.